Your name is almost synonymous with CIA, with Ronald Contras. Reagan, with Nicaragua. Yeah, How man. did this come about? Well, it was this reporter uh, named Gary Webb from the San Jose Mercury News, mm -hmm. and he was following my old drug supplier. You know, trying okay. to figure out who this guy was, what was he doing, how did he do it, mm -hmm. you know, how was this guy avoiding prosecution for all these years. Uh, in his research, he ran into me, and we struck up a friendship, and he told me he was writing a story, and, and we just started working together. You funded, and this is what I fucking found amazing, you funded Anita Baker's first album. I gave Otis Smith the uh, 600000 to to finance her project. Why didn't you go into hip-hop? I had a decision, like... Do I go with DJ Pooh and do a hip hop album, or do I go with Otis Smith, Dick Griffey? Bigger names. Bigger names DJ yeah. Pooh wasn't as big. He hadn't worked with Ice Cube or anybody at that level exactly. yet. Exactly. So. And then when I went in their offices, they had like the platinum and the yeah. gold records. I DJ Pooh was probably in the garage or something, you know what oh, I mean? Oh, man, I go over to the house, and it, it's crazy, right? Because I meet Dre a couple years ago for the first time. Dr. Dre? Okay. Yeah, so and I go over to his house, and we sitting in his house, and he's like, man. The day you came over there with DJ Pooh, I was sitting there. I look at it and I was like, wow, you know, you, you had all those guys there. right there, you yeah. right there. And, you know, their project would have been a lot cheaper to finance than with Anita Baker's. And then I had all the independent distribution at that time. You know, I had Otis and Dick Griffey would have did anything that I wanted them to do. Anything, yeah. man. Damn. So, you know, both of them rest in peace. Uh... But you know, I was right there, well, man, and I just. I think you had a you had a decision to make, and you went with the more logical one, because other one was more of a risk. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't, and, and they and they both told me that uh, hip hop wasn't here to stay. I get, you know what? Uh, let's get on to now. Who do you know the source of? Who turned you in, or was it just your name was just already out there, you know, and, and it just was well, inevitable? Well, my name was out, uh, you know. I believe that they have what they call a pecking order, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they go to the top of the list, and mm -hmm. they work their way down. Right, mm -hmm. right. Well, my name was already there, and when Danilo Blandon, who, who is my informant, mm -hmm. the guy that set me up, uh -huh. when they came to him and told him that they wanted me, then he obliged, you know, by uh, cooperating with him and set me up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he... I believe I read, too, he wasn't even deported after that, right? He no, I got him deported. Yeah. Uh, I got him deported. Wikipedia, from you need to update your <laughs> shit. <laughs> from prison. Yeah. He is deported now, oh, but he wasn't he? he wasn't at that time. Yeah. Uh, you know, the law is, is, is pretty clear. It says that if an alien gets convicted of a felony, they must be deported. Mm -hmm. Well, in his case, he got convicted, but they didn't deport him. They allowed him to get a job mm -hmm. with DEA. <laughs> Ain't that some shit. And, uh, yeah. and was working. And, and when he set me up, he shouldn't even been in this country. So 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 you, you got on that shit real quick. Huh? Oh, man. And, and then this guy, Tez, he should have been fired, but they demoted him at least. You know, mm -hmm. I had to settle for the demotion. Well, he's the guy that for mm -hmm. INS that doctored up his, his, his green card and, and gave it to him. I don't know how this guy is still an uh, 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 INS agent. I don't want to touch on this just for a quick bit, but um, you, I, where are you in the process with the rapper Rick Ross, who took your name and made millions and millions of dollars off of it? I know there was some legal action going on. Where are you at the moment with that? Yeah, well, we just we just came from the California Supreme Court, and uh, they ruled against us. Okay. They said that uh, he turned my name into a character. I think is what, wow. they, what they said. <laughs> wow. And wow. And by that happening, after all, the, after all the shit you've been through, how does? Oh, that must piss you off. Go ahead. I'm sorry, man. It pisses me off, and I'm not even you. Yeah. So, <laughs> Look, at he's over here all so, chill. So, like, you know, I'm not surprised, though. You know, mm -hmm. whenever they, they open their arguments, the first thing they would say is, the big bad drug dealer. You know, once you sell drugs in this country right mm -hmm. now, it's such a, a, a stigma to it that mm -hmm. uh, once you do that, then you don't really have rights anymore. Yeah. You know, that, that people can trample over you. Mm -hmm. uh, You're the bad guy. Yeah. Yeah, you're bad forever, you know, mm -hmm. once you do that. You, you can never get that jacket off of you. Mm -hmm.